Hi, I'm Anders Olof Vendin from Ludvika, Sweden. I make music, and when I do, I call myself Money Brother. I've just been on a musical journey around the whole globe. To Chicago and Los Angeles in the United States, to Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, to Kingston in Jamaica, to London in the UK, to Auckland in New Zealand, and to Cape Town in South Africa. At all these places, I met local musicians and recorded with them what's gonna be my next album. An album that'll sound like the world. I've been recording five albums so far, and basically it's been pretty much straightforward rock and roll music. But I always had this dream, recording while traveling, going to different places, finding various musicians, unique instruments, getting something on tape that I wouldn't get just by staying back in Stockholm. I'm about to start recording my sixth album and, uh, you know, growing up in Ludvika in Sweden, you weren't really breastfed with culture. So as a kid, I kind of felt trapped up there. I grew up listening to music from all over the world and that made Ludvika feel so small. And it's, it's funny in, in the end as music actually became my escape from there. When I started planning for this project, I knew I needed somebody to, to go with me you know, on the whole trip. Plan the whole thing with me and be responsible for all the sounds on the record. And it was easy because a trip like this, you, you, know, you need someone that's good in the studio, but you also need someone that you can hang out with for a few months. I just asked one of my best friends, his name is Krille, and uh, perfect guy for the project, great producer, looks good in the movie, and fun to hang out with. Let's do this. I produced music for Anders before, called the tracks on the last album, and I've always been working with him in some way in all, this, all these albums. And we have played a lot together. We have played in the same band for a long time, and we could talk to each other, we could communicate, and that's really important. If you want to work together with music, you have to be able to communicate. Also, I think we wanted a friend on this trip, because it's going to be a long trip, so we need someone that's also you can, you can trust the music, that you can also trust sharing a, like a hotel, hotel room. Strictly classic, my friend. Strictly classic. <laughs> I want to be ready for everything. I want to be able to attend a wedding. I want to be able to go to the beach. I want to be able to go to the club, you know? And I only want to bring carry on. I'm going to be in the movie all the time. For me, packing is like meditation, and I do it constantly since I'm always on tour. And I like, you know, when I'm doing it, I am, I'm in packing mode. I don't think about anything else. So I put my guitar there, I put the, the lyric sheets there, I put my underwear there and my socks and the sweater. It looks like a, a lot of stuff, but then you fold it real nicely and you, if it all fits in that, this magic bag I have. There you go. Carry on home, for a month. Yeah. The first stop of the trip was in Electric Audio Studio in Chicago, laying down the foundations, meaning the drums, the bass, and the guitars.
right here, right now in Chicago, we are recording the foundations of this album. And if there's one studio I'd like to do that in, it is in Electric Audio. It's world famous for its great analog setup and nice sounding rooms. In Chicago, we really only recorded the bare essentials of the album. Equipped with these foundations, we then went out to spice them up with additional vocals and instruments. So the first real stop on my world tour, Los Angeles, because you always get good musicians here. And from earlier gigs and recordings, I already knew some of them. Fuck. Sorry, guys. Driving your car in LA, parking outside Red Bull Studios in Los Angeles, sun is shining, walking in, and it's like, you know, one of the biggest studios I ever worked in. Of course, that's for a musician, it's fantastic. Oh, here's the guy. Hey, Eric. Hello, hey, I'm Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you too. Welcome to the studio. Hey, I'm I call this guy, he runs a rockabilly label here in LA called Wild Records. And they just signed this girl, and I asked her if she could sing some backup vocals on my record. And she came over and she brought her guitar, so we, we jammed a little bit, and that actually turned out really nice. Can I do the little kicks too? Yeah, yeah, please. <laughs> Three, four. When the bus is coming the everybody's back at home. That's when the wind is whistling louder than the scream. Have you ever felt so alone in the night time? It's a little bit high. It's unbelievably good. You have to come back down again, but it's it's very good. So it's unbelievably good. Let's do it again. <laughs> it's unbelievably good. Better? We got it. Thank you very much. It's perfect. That's the right time. In, in the, the night time. time. Hey! That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it. It's all about timing. Hey. <laughs> well, I got tons of friends in LA. All right. So what I did, I actually picked up the phone and called the three best looking guys I could come to think of. And uh, they all came out, helped me sing in the studio, for example, on God Knows My Name and Jealousy. So I move on, it's like... I move on. I move on. I move on. I move on. Exactly. And that's basically what we do on this. Cool. Okay. So I think we're in. Uh, yeah. So awesome. That's a cool yeah. line. Yeah. yeah. Let's just play the song and see how, how, how it feels in the headphones. Yeah, cool. An uninvited yet not unexpected feeling. Sounds good. Yeah, sorry, I missed a couple places in there. Yeah, but you know, it's the first time you heard the song. Uh, let me just um, argue in Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> I move on. We say something like this. Uh, what are we doing? I don't know. What are you doing? I don't know. Yeah, so probably it's good. <laughs> oh. God knows my name. What are you guys up to? We're gonna go eat at this restaurant in Venice. You wanna come? Yeah, sure. Perfect. That'd be great. If, yeah. if it's not too much, drop yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd love to. Right? I wanna... You need a drive or something? No, you get home. Uh, Kili, the, the film crew? Yeah. Oh, man. In the studio, it's, it's um, the environment you try to create. It's a delicate situation going on in there, which is a little bit hard to explain, maybe. But you know, imagine doing that and then have somebody with a camera but, uh, but you, you trying to document all of this, you know, and maybe somebody with a microphone, like... And, you know, however nice these guys might be, you want to, like, 
Get the fuck out of my face. It's We try, like, you know, let's fake it one time for the cameras. But then, of course, after like six weeks, you, you end up not even noticing. You know, I woke up several mornings in my room with this dude with his camera just filming me while I was sleeping. And, you know, I'd kill that guy if he'd done that, you know, six weeks earlier. But that was like, morning, how are you? And uh, I didn't think twice about it. So after a little trip to Joshua Tree and me starting to become almost best friends with the camera, it was time to leave LA behind and head on to the city of big drums, Rio de Janeiro, here we go. Coming up on Money Brother Around the World. I wanted Carl to sing on the record in Portuguese. This girl, Juliana, <laughs> she's probably one of the most beautiful girls I've ever seen. You get this, Benjamino? This is London Studio in full effect. <laughs> and I'm thinking maybe, am I running away from something? <laughs> <laughs> the world is not a nice place, 100%. Really gives you the impression they are not mass murderers. No idea. I didn't do that. I don't say, who wrote this rhythm? Ah, it's crazy.